So next one is opera. How are we doing on time here? Very good. Okay. So opera has some unique things to it. Opera has everything that I've shown you. We can do the spin wheel. And uh, what it, some of the features here, which I think are exceptional, is it can invert the colors. Before, what I was talking about with people who may be glare sensitive, who don't like all this white in the background, Opera does a really good job of inverting these colors. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to uh, Style, and then I can very quickly arrow up or down to the um, contrast that I want. So let's try black on white here. So that strips that strips a lot of the background images. So it's still black on white, but you can see a difference. Before this was colored. Can you so toggle back? Yeah. Absolutely. Yep. Yeah. So, and how I'm accessing the menu bars, I'm pressing Alt. I'm going right arrow. Let's go back to Style, and now let's choose High Contrast White on Black. Oh, uh, just one second here. Uh, so it's allowing, so it's necessary to uncheck the other one. There we go. Okay. So for a person that's glare sensitive, um, and I've, I've seen uh, a lot of people with um, diabetic retinopathy tend to be very glare sensitive. Sometimes people with macular degeneration. So this is this really cuts down on the glare. It softens the image quite a bit. You know, there's always a pro and a con to everything. The, the disadvantage to this is that some of the items that people may have seen for years and years don't look as familiar. So now what used to look familiar to a person, all of a sudden you go to, go to a web page and it takes a little more work to identify what's going on. Mm -hmm. Let's go to CNN and check this out. Now what I did here, I know I'm going through this quickly, F6 doesn't work here to access the address bar. I did Alt and the letter D. Mm -hmm. That also does it in all of the other web browsers as well. So I typed out CNN.com. Mm -hmm. Let's see what this looks like here. So it still keeps the integrity of the picture in place, but it changes all the fonts. And the nice thing about this is I don't even need to see where the, the pointer is. Everything I land on inverts the color automatically. Of the whole field behind the text. The entire link, yeah. yeah. Nice. Yeah. So let's say I wanted to select text. Actually, that's not the greatest contrast, but you can see it's, uh, it does a fairly good job of selecting text as well that way. Okay. Now, um, another thing that I really like about um, Opera here, let's disable this feature here. What I'm doing is I'm landing on the high contrast um, white on black and I'm just pressing enter on it again. So then the Firefox and the Internet Explorer do not have this uh, text version? No, they don't. You can go into the operating system, you can reconfigure it. The problem is that it does some pretty strange things to other, other applications. Mm -hmm. And especially if it's a um, if, if it's a computer used by other users, it changes everything for them as well.